what is up you guys my name is Lil George Lil and today um we're gonna be talking about the effects of testosterone now I myself have not gone on testosterone but I do plan to in the future of course now if you're trans or if you're non-binary anything like that um testosterone doesn't always have to be an option it's just whatever would make you feel comfortable you could be transgender and not want to go on testosterone you could be um, transgender or trans male specifically and um, not want to bind your chest or anything like that it's whatever you feel comfortable with in yourself so today I am just listing the um, the facts of testosterone and what how it affects your body like long-term and permanent and uh, anything like that so let's get started so, first of all, the basics. Testosterone can be injected three different ways. A shot every week, um, a skin patch, or a pill. Now, the ones that work the most would be uh, a shot, of course, and that would be every single week. Um, most That's the thing that most people do, but you can change that. You could do it um, every couple months. You can do it every other week. It really depends on how you decide, like, how, how, many, how much you want of it and how often you get it because um, it could affect, um, I don't know, kind of like your mental state and stuff like that. So it's really, it's really a suggestion that you do what's best catered for you and not, not strictly think about, I want this faster because it doesn't always work that way. Never overuse any type of medication. Only use what the doctor has prescribed to you at that specific amount, at that specific time, etc. So let me just list off the typical um, changes in testosterone as the months progress. These aren't gonna be like sugar coated, they're gonna be like legit things, okay? I hope you're ready. One to three months after starting testosterone, you should see increased sex drive, vaginal dryness, growth of the clitoris by one to three centimeters, increased growth and coarseness and thickness of hairs on arms, legs, chest, abdomen, and back, oilier skin and increased acne increased muscle mass and upper body strength redistribution of fat to more muscular masculine mm, masculiner regions ah. the fat on your body is going to change to make you look more like a man like facial features how it like changes yeah it's lit i'm excited one to six months after the growth after starting testosterone your period stops <sighs> <laughs> Three to six months after starting testosterone, your voice begins to crack and drop. Uh, cause you might. It's like Miles right now. How his voice is like cracking so much. It's so cute. I love it. Ah! But be warned that your voice cannot can stop changing after a year. Like it, it could it could crack for a year. Keep that in mind. Be prepared to not get a job interview within a year. <laughs> One year or more after starting testosterone. Possible male pattern balding. Gradual growth of facial hair. But it could take like one to four years to reach full growth. So keep in mind that testosterone affects the entire body and there's no like picking and choosing like what you want. So you have to be sure that you're ready to take on all of this. Like, are you prepared? Are you? Most of the changes brought on by testosterone are not reversible. Some of them are. Most of them are not. Here are some irreversible things. Deeper voice and male pattern baldness cannot be reversed. This is a may or may not re reverse, varies by person. Your clitoral growth and uh, your facial hair may or may not disappear. Your facial hair may decrease, but may not fully disappear. And what is reversible is your period. It'll come back, it will, so don't. Yeah, it'll come back and um, your facial features and all that stuff will reverse back to uh, feminine features. You have to keep in mind that testosterone or any hormones that you might take are not going to solve all of your body problems. It will help with some of it, of course, and help you pass a little more, but you have to understand that it says, you know, you'll get, you know, upper body strength and stuff like that, but you have to work out. It's just going to give you that one little push, that one little step to help you towards your goal. Here is the thing that I'm slightly worried about, but not as much. Um, these are the risks and uh, heart diseases that may come with taking testosterone. It can decrease good cholesterol, which is um, HDL, and uh, increase bad cholesterol, which is LDL, which I don't know what those stand for, but I know that it's bad cholesterol. No, you don't. 
you know, you don't want bad cholesterol, of course, you want the good ones. G good, good ones. It could increase fat deposits in organs, especially around upper organs like that. So if you're going to take this testosterone, you have to make sure that you're working out and getting the proper exercise or um, fat could build up and that's not very good for you. Increase your blood pressure and uh, decrease the body's sensitivity to insulin. So um, if you are diabetic or anything that involves uh, insulin or uh, high blood pressure, you really do need to run that through your doctor and explain the risk. Most importantly, uh, well not necessarily most importantly, but like one of the big factors with me is that if you go on testosterone and you aren't getting that you know proper exercise, like I said, um, it it can it, it can cause uh, increased weight gain. So. Um, you really have to monitor that and make sure you're not just, I mean, if you, like, I, I have a problem with my weight, even though I'm really small and really skinny, um, but, yeah, you have to make sure that you are getting the proper exercise if you do go on testosterone. Testosterone may increase the chance of you having a heart disease, a stroke, or diabetes. Um, these are definitely increased in trans people who are either obese or have family history of these things or smoke. If you are a person that's got loads of migraines, testosterone can increase them. They don't decrease them, they just increase them. You know, it's a wonderful thing. Testosterone is great, right? There are loads of risks and things that it can increase that will be good, but you have to think about it. Make a pros and cons chart on if you think testosterone is right for you and the dosages that you might take and say, all of these things compared to this, what's worth it, what's not? So. I definitely think that you should make a pros and cons short and find out what's best for you. Um, I myself am going to take the route of testosterone. I've, you know, studied all this stuff and I've read through it and I just, I really think testosterone would be the best choice for me. There is a really cool website slash pamphlet that I have been doing most of my research on, even though I've done it in other places, okay? I'm not just like, ooh, let me go on Wikipedia and look up this. I'm gonna put it in the link down below. Um, if I forget it, please let me know. I, you guys, it's a good-ass website. It is a good-ass thing. You need to read it. It's got tons of information for you. And um, maybe if you're needing help, like, sharing it with your parents and showing that you have the research, that you know what's going on, you know what's going to happen, and that could help you with that one step to... Uh, like if you're underage and you need your parents to let you go on testosterone, this could help you. So, um, yes, the link will be in the description down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, I definitely enjoyed making it. I got a little refresher on all this stuff. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Look inside, look inside your tiny mind And look a bit harder Cause we're so uninspired, so sick and tired Of all the hate